All right, number 89. Um, here they ask us to calculate the KSP. So in order to find an equilibrium constant, I don't care if it's Ka, Kb, KSP, Keq, um, it's, you do it the same way. We know that um, delta G is equal to negative RT ln of K. We also know that delta G is equal to negative N F E. So we can set those two equations equal to each other. Negative R T ln of K is equal to negative F cell voltage. Um, and this problem wants us to find the K. So probably the easiest thing to do mathematically would be to by the way, the negative signs cancel, is to do this and find this quantity first and then take the natural log of it, okay? Um, or the anti-log um, of it. So let's um, find what N and the cell potential are. So we've got our iron sulfide with two electrons going to iron and aqueous and the cell potential of this one is negative 1.01 volts here We got this and we get a point four four volts and the question is now. Um, which one do we flip? Okay, well, it's a KSP. So if you remember, the KSP is when we're forming um, the iron sulfide from the ions. So that means if we're forming the iron sulfide, it's going to have to be on the right side of the arrow. Therefore, we have to flip the top one. Okay. We flip it, the charge is going to change, I mean, the sign is going to change, and then we're going to get iron solid plus that, the sulfide giving us iron sulfide plus two electrons. Are the electrons balanced? Yes, they are, so they will cancel, okay? Um, and so then um, the remainder of the reaction becomes. Oh, the iron's canceled, sorry. It's late at night. You can tell it's late at night because I'm starting to talk to myself more. Just wondering if anybody's actually even going to watch this video. Of course you guys will. All right, so... Okay, there's the voltage. We know the number of electrons is being transferred as two. So now we're ready to rock and roll. Um, which universal gas constant do we use? Which R value? Um, so sometimes people get, um, uh, they use the wrong one because they think, oh, I'm at standard conditions, which is one atmosphere. Well, yeah, you are at standard conditions. However, 
think about what is delta G in? Delta G is in kilojoules, right? Typically, or you know, at least the, the joule part. So um, you have to use the gas constant 8.31 because a liter times a kPa is a joule. So I sometimes you'll see the gas constant written like this, joules per mole Kelvin instead of kPa times liters. So now we have our things we can plug in. So the, so the ln of k is going to be 2 times Faraday's constant times the voltage divided by r So it's very possible that, you know, you know what you're doing, but you're going to get it wrong because in college because you don't remember which gas constant to use or the fact that bolts are in joules. All comes down to units. And at standard conditions, that's 25 degrees Celsius or 298 Kelvin. So this becomes 44.4. Now let's take the exponential of that to find k. You're going to get a big number. So since k is so big, it basically means that um, iron sulfide is, insu is insoluble. Um, for all intensive purposes, this is a one-ray reaction and not a two-way reaction. Like I said, in theory, all reactions are reversible, but because the k... SP is so high, or the equilibrium constant is so high, the reaction, for all intents and purposes, is not reversible. Uh, I don't know why I got the wrong answer. Son of a biscuit. I probably flipped the wrong reaction. Just check something. Oh, yeah, I flipped the wrong reaction. I'm sorry, it's too late at night. I should have flipped the other reaction. So instead of a positive 0.57, it should be a negative 0.57. So in other words, we're going to get a super small number because we're taking the ln of a very small number. So um, I got the KS, I got this reaction wrong here. It should be written the other way.
Okay. That should be when the solid, um, the KSP is how much will dissolve. So let's just recalculate that. Now I get the correct answer. 5.21 times 10 to the negative 20th. So that means that, um, uh, like I said before, I just had it reversed. Iron sulfide, for intensive purposes, is not soluble. Okay, so at least that part I got right. So very little of it will dissolve um, because um, the KSP is so small. All right.